Hey everyone, I'd like to give you guys some easy tips on how to study faster and more effectively and to remember as much material as possible and to do as well as you can in the exam with a limited amount of time that you have available to study for the exams. This video I'm going to discuss a study technique, a very simple study technique by a guy by the name of Richard Feynman who was a theoretical physicist and Richard Feynman designed a model um, for which he was actually quite well known for which was essentially being able to explain extremely complex topics um, relating to physics um, and other very complicated topics and being able to explain that to uh, a, a youngster of say five or ten years old or an, a person with basically no understanding of the topic and that was essentially what he was quite well known for as well. So how this technique works is as follows. As mentioned, it's called the Feynman technique. Step one is to choose a concept. So to choose a concept is obviously a specific thing in your studies. It could be if you're studying, for example, finance. It could be an IFRA statement. If you're studying law, it could be a certain thing related to criminal law, um, something like, for example, dolus eventualis. And what you then try to do is you select that specific concept. The second step in this process is then to try to teach a young person, or as this diagram says, to teach a toddler, but that could also mean to teach somebody who has absolutely no knowledge of this topic on a much lower level than you would, for example, experience in um, academia. Then once you are trying to explain this topic to this young person or person who lacks uh, a good background or any kind of background of the topic that you're trying to discuss, you then would realize where you would have gaps in your knowledge and you should then try to document what these gaps are. Then what you do is you go back to your source material where you obviously you originally studied the material from. You review that material and then you try to simplify the topic again. Essentially, you then repeat this whole process and you start again at step one, which is choose the topic. Step two, to teach a young person or a person who lacks the knowledge. Step three, to identify the gaps again to see can you teach this topic to this person who lacks a basic background of the topic that you're trying to teach or a young person and then again review and try to simplify it. Guys I hope that this video helped if it did please leave your comments below click like and subscribe.